Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Dee. I am the creator behind Dee and Fam. On my channel, I share lifestyle related videos, mostly cleaning videos. I have some family content and I also do a little bit of beauty. Beauty in regards to my hair because as you can see, I'm not really wearing any makeup and you can see all of my blemishes but I wanted to come on here and I just wanted to check in with you guys because it's been a while since I've posted a video and it's also um just been too long without me like reintroducing myself so I just wanted to come on here really quick and let you guys know that I'm okay my family's okay um there has been no videos on my channel in the last month I would say just because I have been adjusting to life at home with the kids now as most of you know I am a stay-at-home mom I'm also a blogger I'm also a content creator here on YouTube and I'm a wife I have kids like it's just a lot that I have to deal with on a regular basis and creating content has just been one of the things that hasn't been the priority on the list just because I don't want to like burn myself out I don't know how long this whole situation is gonna last like with everything going on in the world today and I'm just pacing myself because at the end of the day I don't want to be an angry mom I don't want to ruin my kids childhood and I don't want to put way more work on myself than there needs to be but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to create content I do plan on creating content I have tons of video ideas if you hear my kids talking in the background they're downstairs eating lunch and this is how I'm able to come on here and just sort of catch you guys up with everything that's been going on so yeah there's definitely tons of content coming your way I am still gonna be making videos you don't have to worry if you thought like I vanished and I wasn't coming back I'm definitely coming back um, it's just taking some time it's taking some time for me to work up the energy and also the time to do this it's a little bit I'm actually gonna be really real with you guys right now so life for me has not changed that much since the whole stay-at-home order and everything like that obviously I was a stay-at-home mom before I was actually looking for a full-time job outside of the house um, I had gone on a couple interviews and things were looking really really good and then the world happened <laughs> and now that's not that's not a thing anymore. So I've just sort of had to reprogram my mind on what I need to do, prioritize everything. Obviously, my kids come first. So as you know, all the schools are canceled and there's distance learning now. So every all the kids who are in school uh, have to do all their schoolwork online. For us, that hasn't been too much of an adjustment period. I feel like we just kind of like smoothed right in and we've always been on top of our schoolwork so it's not really a problem as you guys should know I have done homeschooling videos in the past where I did do some early learning with my kids at home so it's not like you know a new thing to me and it's not like something that's just too hard to do it's just to be honest sometimes I don't want to do it and sometimes my oldest daughter she doesn't want to do it and when we're both like butting heads and things like that it just doesn't work out and I try not to stress myself over that because you have your lifetime to learn as much as I would want you to do it now, as much as we are doing it now. If we have a bad day, like, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. So for all you mamas or dads out there who are struggling with, like, homeschooling right now and it's not really your thing, just hang in there. You are their parent. You're not their school teacher, okay? So if it's too hard for you, that's okay. It's supposed to be hard for you. That's why we have people who do these jobs and they're paid to do these jobs because it's a difficult task and it's a difficult job and if it's too hard for you don't beat yourself up it's okay I'm not beating myself up I know it's okay we're doing pretty good as I said so I don't have to struggle or worry about that too much but it's been it's been something to get used to I have pretty much raised my kids to be social we're always out exploring the community we always have friends that we meet up with we always have somewhere to go there's never a day that there's like literally nowhere to go so it's been hard to just reprogram ourselves to know that okay we're not going here we're not going there we're staying home we're staying in our neighborhood we're staying away from people we have to remember to be safe we have to remember to wash our hands and even the washing hands thing it has never been um, much of an adjustment for us because I'm so like OCD about cleaning and every time we come in the house they always wash their hands anyway so that hasn't changed 
Um, it's just with everything going on and with no one knowing when things are going to end or when things are going to change, I feel like it's just naturally getting all of us like super frustrated because there's days where I feel frustrated with like the whole situation and with just everything in the house. Um, and it's okay. Like you're entitled to feel like that. You're allowed to feel like that. It's okay. It just take some time for you to figure out how you want to handle this and then move on. I know I don't want to be stressed. <laughs> I know I don't want to um, be angry. I know I don't want to keep being frustrated. I want to like enjoy this time because this is precious time we're never going to get back. There's going to be a day in the future where we're all going to wish we were able to just stay home and relax. Um, granted, I have two <laughs> two daughters who are busy and they will not take no for an answer when it comes to just sitting down and relaxing. Like they, they, they like, they're busy. They're super busy and they have a lot of energy. So there hasn't really been that much relaxing going on in my end. I have not been on a vacation, on a hiatus or anything like that. I'm breaking out like... This is a result of just stress and just being a female, if you know what I mean. So yeah, this is what I've been up to, you guys. Um, I wanted to just make sure I came on and thanked you guys so much for sticking with me through everything going on and just me not being consistent at the moment. As I said before, I'm coming back. Coming back, got content planned for you guys. Just bear with me and to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. I can't wait to see our channel grow even more and I can't wait to interact with you guys more regularly. Uh, I have tons of content, like I said before, that I have planned to go up. It's just a matter of taking the time to film it, make sure that everything is okay, like editing everything and then planning out my calendar, which has just been bare. Like for the last month, my calendar has been bare. Every day is pretty much the exact same day unless you make it something different. So I know a lot of you guys are new to this whole stay at home life and it's hard for you and it's hard to remember what day it is. For me, I have trouble sometimes knowing what day it is, but it's really important for me to hold on to the idea of the weekend. So <laughs> on the weekends, I try to enjoy the fact that it's a weekend. Like today is Monday and I'm already excited about Saturday. Like I look forward to it. If I don't have that to look forward to, it's not gonna be a thing. But anyways, all this about how to like get through your time during quarantine, I will get to in a different video. I'm rambling just because I think I missed talking to you guys and like producing content. Like this time is literally my time and it's not that much time so uh, I get a little bit excited and I talk a little bit too much but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you so much for watching all the previous videos and if you're new thank you so much for joining the fam honestly I don't know what I would do if I didn't have this to look forward to doing because this is a hobby for me this is something that I find a lot of joy doing and it's a really good way for me to show my creativity. It's just my creative outlet. So I just appreciate you guys helping me grow and helping uh, just keep me engaged. Like sometimes, especially in these times, you can feel closed off and so far away. But like with this outlet, I really don't. Uh, also, you guys, I post on Instagram every single day every day in my stories I always post a picture or a video something there's always some sort of content on Instagram every day so if you click down below in the description box you're gonna see my handle for Instagram and you can just follow me over there and see more of what I'm doing in between the posts I started out this year making sure that I um, post something on Instagram every single day for a whole year. This year happens to be 366 days. So I have one extra day of content that I need to produce on there. But uh, we are at like over 100 days and I haven't missed a day once. That's very new to me. I am, <laughs> I don't usually post every single day as you can see. Um, so it's new for me. So if you want to see more of me in between that, definitely go check me out on there. I've done some collabs. I've done um, some really just really good stuff that I'm proud of like over on Instagram so go check it out uh, and it's my personal Instagram so yeah if you see like my life more than like what you would see here that would be why 
Um, but yeah, it's approaching 10 minutes now, so I'm just going to cut this now. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope that I'll see you in my next video, and stay safe. Bye, guys.